good news is, looking even into the extended forecast, we're not really looking at any rain in this forecast, but that does not mean there aren't any concerns because we do have another big cold front headed our way, continuing to keep us on the chillier side all the way through the next couple of days. Also, it's bringing in lots more of those winds and some waves over the next couple of days. So those are our major headlines, but here's what we're looking at for today. This cold front sitting just up to the north of us it is weakening pretty quickly, so we're not seeing any major concerns with that, but it is still bringing in a little bit more of that instability, a few more wind gusts across the region, so we're going to be keeping a close eye on that. Checking out our clouds and fog at this point, pretty minimal throughout many of our coastal valleys and those beaches, starting to build in a little bit more, especially in those interior valleys that combined with some tule fog in the central valley is causing some lower visibilities. Just be cautious across the region, but overall things are looking relatively clear for this morning's commute, about six miles of visibility in Santa Maria, so slightly lower, but overall things are looking pretty good as you head out the door this morning. Just be cautious on those roadways no matter where you are. One of the things I've been talking about for the last couple of days is these wind gusts. It's been taking really comfortable conditions and making them a little bit on the frustrating side, continuing to see lots more winds across the region, continuing to see them push in from the north. We're going to see those winds pump up to about 30 miles an hour later on, later on this early morning into the afternoon hours. Then we could even see some wind gusts up to about 45 miles an hour in the Santa Barbara area by later on tonight. As this wind risk continues, that does mean that our wind advisory has been extended and we just saw it extended once again all the way towards those coastal valleys and our beaches. That's going to be extended all the way through 8 p.m. tonight. It's going to be windy no matter where you are once again. So we're keeping a close eye on that. We also do have a high surf advisory in place along all of those western beaches because we do have another system that's bringing in more of these waves. The system in the North Pacific is driving that wave energy. It's headed our way pretty quickly. Starting to see those waves really pick up by about noon today. This is going to stay in effect all the way through 3 p.m. tomorrow. It's when the worst of it will be. Crest 8 to 12 feet and an increased rip current risk is expected there as well. Now checking out your forecast for today. 76 degrees in Paso Robles, 74 in San Luis Obispo, 72 in Santa Maria, 70 in Lompoc, and 77 degrees in Santa Barbara for today. Along our north coast, no major concerns at this point. Cayucas at 64, 73 in Avila Beach, and 74 in Atascadero, 73 in Napomo, 74 in Shandon, and 67 in Pismo Beach and along our south coast. Goleta at 78, 78 in Solvang and 73 in Los Alamos. Checking out that seven day forecast will warm up a little bit over the next couple days. A very slight cool down on Saturday won't be there for too long. Temperatures will be slightly above normal for this time of the year as we head towards the early portion of next week. Neil, back to you.